what is up guys welcome to the dynasty fan podcast today gonna be talking to you about my top five qb buys for your super flex leagues this dynasty off season so getting into it guys what i'm looking at looking at people that are young if i'm looking at players that are going to increase in value next season players that we could buy for a good price right now obviously you're talking about veterans if you are a win now team i got one that's a little bit of a hybrid kind of young but people are kind of out on him right now. And also we're looking at players that are just didn't have a good rookie season. If anything I've learned in Dynasty, guys, we give up on these rookie QBs too fast, right? And I'm not talking about Zach Wilson, but we're looking at Tua Tagovailoa, Trevor Lawrence. A lot of guys are really dogging these guys and out on them after just one season of poor play. Even Justin Fields, Jalen Hurts, right? Looking at these players, these are guys that can really increase – in value in this off season and just set your team up for great success. If you can buy these players now and target some of these young players right now before they pop off. So before we get into it, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoy this show, also let me know some of your by low candidates for QB position in the comment section. And let me know what you think about these QBs that I'm going to be bringing up during the show coming up at QB five, One of my favorite buys right now, and I know a lot of people are not thinking that he is going to be the starter. Whether you believe it or not, I think he's got a decent shot at that right now, and that is Sam Howell. So for the Washington Commanders, we've heard already a few reports heading into 2023 that he's going to be the starting quarterback heading into training camp. Now, I know there's some veteran QBs out there, right? You got Rodgers, Jimmy G, right, Derek Carr, but there's a lot of spots that need veteran quarterbacks looking at the jets with the weapons they have you got the raiders now that they don't have Derek carr as well as you got tampa bay without no tom brady so there's a shot that washington does not land a veteran qb and if that's the case right now they're picking at pick 16 i don't see them getting a pro ready quarterback at pick 16 maybe anthony richardson there but whoever they get there i think sam howe will still get the nod Right and the, and the start to the season for the at least the first few games and Sam Howell's got some talent and he showed that that he played against the Cowboys Week 18 who's a good defense and he did well they won the game and but most importantly he's got the rushing upside that we're looking for so he had a rushing touchdown thing at 35 on the ground he was a QB seven for Week 18 giving you 18.9 fantasy points I believe so. I like Sam Howell. I'm intrigued by him. And I know a lot of people really don't think he's going to be the starter. They're trying to sell him. Most people are trying to sell him right now, which is fine for me. I don't mind picking him up because if he right now he's a QB three at best, right? He's even behind Malik Willis in some dynasty rankings. And I think he's got more of a shot to start than Malik Willis. So I'm definitely willing to spend maybe a mid second for Sam Howell. I would hope to see if I could trade back, possibly if I could get like a later third and trade my second and add Sam Howell or really add him as a throw-on piece to another trade to kind of even it out more so. But I'm interested definitely in Sam Howell. I think he's somebody that could increase in value next season and help your dynasty rosters. All right, so coming in at QB4, guys, I know this guy, a lot of people are down on him right now, worried about his future. And I think he kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If you're a win-now team, this is definitely somebody that I'm targeting, right? Because when you're a win out team, you're looking at quarterbacks, mostly probably veteran quarterbacks. It's going to be hard to get you a rookie quarterback, a young rookie quarterback that's real good, especially if you have a later round draft pick. But if I'm a win now team, a player that I'm targeting right now is Tua Tagovailoa. So he had a great season this year, surrounded with those weapons, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell. They had a great season there in Miami. Probably going to get a running back upgrade next season as well. And I know he has a concussion concerns, but right now you're probably going to get him for a mid to later first. I think you could do that, right? Maybe if he had a second right with a later first or a player that someone likes, I think you can get two of for pretty, pretty fair price. And there's the possibility, yeah, you get one, two years, just like if you were buying a veteran, right, in a win now team. But it's possible he also gives you like six or seven years, right? He's still young. So I'm buying in on Tua Tagovailoa. I know a lot of people will be willing to move him right now. So I think he's a solid play, right? It is is risky, but I think the rewards outweighs the risk for Tua Tagovailoa. So coming in at my QB3, I have 
Mr. Kenny Pickett. So I like Kenny Pickett. I know if anything that if there's anything that I learned in Dynasty Leagues, guys, especially in Superflex, it's not to give up on these young quarterbacks too early, right? We did that already with a lot of people. And looking at, at Kenny Pickett, I think they had Pittsburgh struggled, right? Their whole offense just struggled this past season, right? As well as Najee Harris, you know, Deontay Johnson struggled. But they got, you know, George Pickens is talented. They have talent. We know Deontay is talented. Pat Fryermuth is talented, right? So if they can hopefully beef up that O-line for him, give him a little bit more time in the pocket, right? Going into year two with Coach Tomlin, I think Kenny Pickett could have – at least take a step forward for this next season. I don't want to say a giant, a leap forward, right? A year two leap, but at least he could take a step forward. And for right now where he's valued like a back end QB two in super flex leagues, he's even behind Mac Jones in some dynasty rankings. So I think Kenny Pickett, you know, you got him probably for like the 107, 108 last year. You can probably get him probably for a later first, maybe even the 110 will take Pickett down. And if I need a quarterback, Right in the Super Flex leagues, I'm willing to take some shots on, on Kenny Pickett going into his year two. So coming in at my QB two, probably one of the guys that I'm really trying to buy this off season. And from what I'm hearing, right from people in the community, right, a lot of people are down on on this player, basically thinking that he lost his job. But I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to buy Trey Lance wherever I can, guys. I know just with the rushing upside that he's he's valued like QB, like 12 to 15 in most sites. And just with the rushing upside that he has and the team that he's surrounded with, if he's in San Francisco, the starting QB, we look, we saw what Brock Purdy did. Trey Lance didn't even get a shot, but we saw what Brock Purdy was able to do. And Trey Lance is just more talented, in my opinion, than Brock Purdy he brings a lot more to the table. And Brock Purdy did well, not dogging. Brock Purdy at all. He did well there in San Francisco, definitely. And he earned a battle, right, this offseason. So we heard it's going to be a QB battle, but we had the injury too with Brock Purdy, and it's on his elbow, right? So definitely not look not good. He's not going to be throwing for a good while. So all this time, Trey Lance has been throwing. He's getting ready to go. And I think come training camp, if it's a QB battle, I'm putting my money on Trey Lance, guys, to win that QB position back. And worst case scenario, if it's Purdy, guys, and hopefully they would trade Trey Lance anyways, I just believe that he would get a shot somewhere. And for a late first, if I could get him for a late first, right, 108, 109, I would be trying to do that. Because you're looking at in this in this draft, I'd rather have him over Levis, right? But Levis might go earlier than that anyways. Levis might be like the 105, 106. So if I'm at 107, 108, I don't mind taking a chance on Trey Lance. You might even be able to get like a mid-second on top or something, maybe, right? But just feel around for it. Feel your owners, the Trey Lance owners out. But definitely some of that I am still interested in is Trey Lance. Now, coming in at my QB1 is going to be a veteran name for you. Finally, one of the veterans on here. And there's actually a lot of veterans that are like, guys, I'll probably do a part two of this of, of five more players. But there's a lot of veterans right now that you could get for cheap. Uh, maybe I can put some in the comments and you can add some players in the comments. But my QB one buy right now is going to be Russell Wilson. So Russell Wilson got a lot of hate this year. He played poorly, played poorly there in Denver. But Denver just stunk, right? They, they got Javante Williams injury. He'll get Javante back next season, right? Probably after a few weeks. But Jerry Judy's good. He's got Corlin Sutton, hopefully another year. Right, they got Greg Dulcich, so they definitely got weapons. But looking at it, man, he he was just rushed and hurried more, more than anybody in the NFL. Right, and I know looking into it at PFF, looking into it, he ha he was had a whole bunch of hurries. He was always under pressure. So hopefully they can get that O line better. Hopefully they'll be playing for something. Right, it seems like a lot of the team just kind of gave up on him. I'm not sure how it, if he lost the locker room or what went on. But we know that now Daniel Hackett is also gone. Now they bring in Sean Payton. So definitely going to be a step in the right direction going into next year for Denver Broncos. And I think that right now, 34 years old, so he can give you a couple more years of really good production, in my opinion. And I'm just believing in Russell Wilson for next season. 
I'm, we've seen him, guys. I believe in the talent. He's had some good years. But this guy was like a QB, top five QB in Dynasty for a while. He's finished as a QB one many seasons already. He had a bad season last year. But I'm buying in on Russell Wilson, guys. They got solid weapons around him. I think this is going to be a good offense heading into next season. I know a lot of people have soured on him. You could probably get him for a late first. And I'm definitely going to be doing that and trying to get Russell Wilson for my dynasty roster. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to check out a couple of my other videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe.